Space is Sims, and we are back with more Color X Malice Unlimited. We're in Shiraishi's route. We're still in Chapter 2, and we just had a lovely... We just got to witness lovely banter between Mukai and Shiraishi, and I missed it, and I'm kind of glad that they arranged it in this game. And, uh, well, like, you know, well, yeah, in this game. And in his, in his route. Because they could have, like, left that out, but that's part of the fun of his route, was him and Mukai, and just, <laughs> ugh... I love her, but anyway, so we got some of that and then we got distracted. We already read a couple of these lines, but I backed it up because, you know, we were way over time. But anyway, the detective steadily filed out of the office, returning to police HQ to follow up on the investigation and manhunt for Kurose. Sasazuka and cybercrimes also continue to scour the internet for clues. You must be worried that Shiraishi is the target. Yes, I wanted to help in any way that I could, but... I also didn't want to increase Okazaki's burden. <laughs> oh, Shino! Okai! I heard that you were injured. Are you alright? Yes, I just suffered a light scratch when the suspect, suspect escaped. It's nothing to worry about. Do you think we could speak for a moment? Oh, sure. We walked some distance away from Okazaki before Mukai continued. Is there anything you wanted to... Oh, if there's anything you want to tell the chief, I'll be your messenger. But that's... Uh, don't worry, I know how to play this. Wukai puffed out her chest proudly, seemingly happy to help me. Then, just tell him that I'm happy to see him in good spirits. All right. And don't worry, I'll keep such a close eye on the chief that it'll burn a hole in him. Perhaps I can finally learn one of his weaknesses. That would make me feel better. Um, just try not to overdo it, all right? And that depends on him. Mukai then departed for HQ with the other detectives, seemingly eager for a third round. I would also just be like, I'm good to see his... I miss him. Be like, tell him I miss him. <laughs> I'm happy to see he's in such good spirits. Really? That is what you're going to tell the man that you love who's in prison that you're waiting for? Just be like, I love him and I miss him. Mukai would be like, no. I would absolutely not tell him that, but good try. Mukai, oh, we already read that. As long as he doesn't go outside, Shiraishi shouldn't be in too much danger. Did Kurose intend to keep attacking other targets until it drew Shiraishi out into the open? Can't be reckless right now. I mean, he did call for his release. Release or I'm going to kill people because he wants to kill him, so. I clenched my fist, furious at my powerlessness. Okay, we could have stopped there and gotten to 412. All right, whatever. It would have been a few minutes. I knew that was going to happen. If I had if I had stopped, if I had continued, it would have been like, "Oh my god, it's been like it would have been 20 minute long freaking conversation." But because I stopped, it was like 2 minutes. Whatever. As a night passed after Shiraishi's report and the assault on Mukai, she had been attacked in an area with surveillance cameras, but the feeds had cut out just prior to the event. Police were also unable to determine where she'd escaped to. However, there were some unexpected developments after Shiraishi reviewed Moradana's records. Another meeting was held to discuss his findings. Okay, so this is the next day. According to your report, Kurose was present in one of Rei Makuni's political campaign photos. From his cautious manner, we can assume that he was assigned to accompany Makuni. I told you, Tachibana was always with Makuni, right? Given that assignment, he must find it unforgivable that I killed Mikuni. Or perhaps Mikuni also had Kurose to kill me while he was still alive. But if that's true, then why... Shiraishi paused, then seemed to consider something. If Kurose is that fixated on you, it makes our plans simpler. And that's true. I'm gonna help you with that. Kurose won't stop people I'm come... Uh, connect... Won't stop people... Hold on. Sorry to sneeze. Kurose won't stop killing people I'm connected to until I'm out in the open. We need to settle this as soon as possible. It's the best course of action. Yesterday you said that you wouldn't throw your life away and that you had a reason to live. What changed? My life doesn't belong only to me. I know that I can't discard it lightly. But if Kurose is going to get innocent people involved, then I have to stop him at any cost. Objectively speaking, my life is insignificant in, in comparison to theirs. In fact, I'm a criminal. We should prioritize their lives over my feelings. In the worst case, if we take each other out, 
then the world will be free of two criminals. Shiraishi. Morioka looked at Shiraishi, his gaze so stern that it frightened me. I did say that I'd use you. However, it's just one of those measures we're taking to prevent further casualties. I have no intention of letting you die. Oh, Morioka, you're so good. Every one of the side characters is so good and wonderful and wholesome. We just love them. Have you lost your mind, Morioka? I'm a criminal. You don't. That's enough. We're the police. We don't consider people subhuman just because they committed a crime. We're not like Adonis. You know, he has a valid point. <laughs> Me, I'm just expecting the horrible. He's like, yeah, fuck you. You're trash because you can. He's like, God damn it, Shiraishi. We all love you. <laughs> Shiraishi's like, what? He's like, just look, okay? Shiraishi wasn't the only one shocked by Morioka's words. Many people here viewed Shiraishi with distrust and suspicion because he was a criminal. There are probably people who felt that it was perfectly fine sacrificing him to protect the public. To be honest, I had wondered if Morioka felt the same way. No, Morioka's a good boy. Morioka's a good boy! Let's just want to ruffle his hair. It already looks like it's been ruffled. Don't you just want to play with his hair? He's got such nice hair. Like, <laughs> But he's different. Morioka didn't take Shiraishi's life lightly. He saw the human value of Shiraishi's life, which, you know, that just all of a sudden Shiraishi's like, Dad? <laughs> Nobody's treated Shiraishi like a human until like us, his friends, and now Morioka's kind of a stranger and is like, what the fuck? You don't treat humans like that. Shiraishi's like, I'm a human. Criminals should be judged under the law, eh? I suppose I should have expected as much from you, since you are Yanagi's superior. I'm worth a little more than a rock at the side of the road. You shouldn't treat me like a person. Shh, sweetie baby. No, don't say that about yourself, honey. I just, we just need to hold him and pet his head. It's okay, baby. Enough of that talk. You're a human being. All right. And let me revise my earlier statement. However, be aware that once I'm outside, it'll be a direct provocation to Kurose. He could easily escalate this unless we act first. We know we aren't taking this lightly. Minigishi. Like, Morioka has better hair. I love Minigishi. He's my glasses boy, but he, he need to just tossle his hair just a little bit. Just, just mess it up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyway. Morioka... Morioka, why don't we just tighten Shiraishi's security and see what Kurose does next? The investigation isn't going to make any progress unless Kurose acts. All right, but not yet. I know. It'll take a lot of paperwork in persuading the higher-ups to get Shiraishi released, even temporarily. <gasps> oh, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, okay. Oh, never mind. I just saw underneath in the next chapter, I saw save one and I was like, <gasps> okay, so he doesn't get a bad ending. Shiraishi doesn't get a bad ending in the prologue. He gets a bad ending. I'm telling you, that's because Tachibana's fucking Kurose. <laughs> Bitch, come on. It's gonna be. Absolutely. And that's why we're getting a bad ending in the middle of the fucking game. Oh, you know when we do the bad ending instead of in the prologue but again that's so weird because you don't usually like if you followed the standard order of the game you did Shiraishi's route before you did Yanagi because Yanagi's supposed to be poster boy right so and his is the one that reveals everything although I mean technically Shiraishi's uh, I mean I guess they both you could have done them in any order but like in this one you could play him in any order. She could be like, oh, I love Yuragi, he's number one, or maybe you want to play Shiraishi's to get his out of the way, and then this happens, and you're like, oh, Tachibana is this guy. And then he never gets brought up. It's weird. It almost feels like you're supposed to play Shiraishi's last, but... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, because you've probably been wondering the whole thing, like, what the fuck, Tachibana just disappears and, like, never... This would make sense, but... Anyway. And since it was my idea, I'll help with that. Minigishi began making calls. It looks like it's only a matter of time before their plan goes into effect. Shiraishi had risked his own safety for the sake of the investigation. I ground my teeth, frustrated that there was nothing I could do to help. Ooh, several days, lo lots of time later. Hey, Hoshino! Yoshinari! 
Hideaki Yoshinari, 25, Security Police Division, Division Police HQ. Hello, Yoshinari. Yoshinari had been waiting for me and joined me as I began walking home. It's a good thing nothing else has happened. Yeah. Adonis had shown no new activity in the last week. Of course, we still didn't know where Kurose was. It was good that nobody else had gotten hurt, but... You should have seen Okazaki. He was so bummed. Whine about how he was excited to protect you again. Then they called him away for some other mission. <laughs> that sounds like him. I'm glad that you were the one to replace him, though. I like the fact that they were like, Oh, Okazaki got called away so that they could shoehorn Yoshinari in. <laughs> Okazaki was Yoshinari's senior partner and mentor, and I had spoken with him a number of times. I was glad that the police had assigned someone familiar to escort me. I'm sorry that we have to ask for your help. Oh, no worries. You can't deal with everything by yourself, especially at times like these. Just try to stay positive and don't push yourself too hard. I know you won't be able to relax until this situation is over. Hmm. When it had been revealed that Kurose had been in contact with Makuni, the police had gone over their information again, but nothing else turned up. Shiraishi was profiling Kurose based on his behavior so far. It was doubtful that Kurose had just given up. The last meeting had concluded that he was probably working on some new scheme. Scheme? By the way, have you had dinner yet? I want to go eat somewhere. Kazuki's going to be home late, so why not? Great! Give me just a minute. I'll look up a good place online. Unless it's Yoshinari! Oh, it's not Yoshinari. <laughs> that would have been a fucking twist and a half. They're like, Yoshinari was secretly a member of Adonis the whole time! You'd be like, no, what? No, fuck you, no. We stopped, and Yoshinari took out his phone. Hmm, Italian sounds good. I relaxed as Yoshinari cheerfully scrolled through a list of restaurants. Suddenly, I heard a scream in the distance. I looked around and saw some people making a commotion. Hey, is that... Is it another XD attack? Oh god, there's blood everywhere! Is it part of the countdown? We have to get out of here! People started running. Don't! Yoshinari stopped me, his grip firm on my arm. Yoshinari? We don't know what's happening over there. It could be a trap. Yoshinari's job was protecting VIPs. It wasn't his job to maintain law and order. Also, if you go running and get separated from him in a commotion, like even if you run toward it or away, you get separated from Yoshinari, that's what they want. You know, they probably threw red paint or something. Oh my god, it's blood! Ah, and everybody freaks out and runs. You get separated from Yoshinari, they take you out. I'm just saying, it's definitely some kind of a trap. I'm pretty sure people will report this, but we should call it into HQ just in case. But we don't know what's happening. If I can at least take a look... I can't allow that. Yoshinari's normally cheerful expression was quiet and intense. And this is Yoshinari, security detail for Officer Hoshino. It looks like there's some trouble near us, possibly X-Day related. We're in West Shinjuku, one, blo one block, currently keeping our distance from the scene. What if someone got hurt again? While Yoshinari spoke to his radio, my gaze was drawn to an overhead structure that seemed to be the crime scene. Curious onlookers were gathering as well as people fleeing the scene. Don't leave Yoshinari. A man jogging away from the scene stopped near us to catch his breath. Excuse me, what happened over there? There's blood all over. I've never seen so much blood in all my life. I didn't see if there's anyone who got hurt, but I can't stand blood. Plus someone wrote X day on the wall in blood. Please calm down. I'm a police officer. Did you notice anything else? Police? Well, get over there then. Someone could die. Oh, um... The man ignored me and kept running. The scene had sent him into an absolute panic. Oh, Shino, we've been ordered to stand by. Backup is en route. En route. Before Yoshinari finished, a woman came running so frantically she almost tripped and fell. Please, somebody, help! A strange man grabbed a little girl! There's so much blood. Is this the next part of the countdown? Oh, shit. This is really bad. Yoshinari. Oh, no, Hoshino. You're making that face again where your mind is totally made up. Sorry for the trouble, but this is my job. Yeah, but there's a chance that if they get to you, it could put the entire country in danger. But I wouldn't be a police officer if I just stood by while people got hurt. <sighs> I wonder what Okazaki would say. He'd probably hit me upside the head so that I passed out and I wouldn't be in trouble. All right, but let me protect you. I'm the only one who's armed right now. Sorry, and thanks. Like, link arms with Yoshinari. Just way we don't get separated. Yoshinari, link arms. We won't get separated. I followed Yoshinari's guidance and approached the scene quickly. Or better yet, handcuff yourself to me. 
Do you have handcuffs, Yosunari? Handcuffs. It does say eight. Police, clear a path. Yoshinari, there's blood back there. Stay here, Hoshino. It's better if you're in a crowd. No, it's not. Yoshinari, no, it's not. We don't know that that guy's not in the crowd with us. We're like standing in the crowd and he's right there behind. Yoshinari stepped away from me and checked on the bo a bloody side street. I started talking to the people around me to get a better picture of the situation. Has anyone seen the perpetrator? I heard that a man took a child hostage. Wait, what? Is he still around here? I didn't see any girls, so there's more than just blood. Oh, God! I did see a woman screaming It was covered in blood, but there wasn't anyone else. Nobody corroborated that screaming woman's statement. Hadn't she said a girl had been taken hostage by a man? Did she mistake what she saw, or was it... The quickest way to a response was to ask the woman directly. No, don't. I left the crowd and started searching the area. Jesus fucking Christ, Spacey, you idiot! In that moment, a familiar face caught my attention. I've seen him somewhere. Shukurose! Stupid! However, he slipped out of the crowd and disappeared. She's an idiot. She's gonna chase him and get caught! Stop it! Spacey, don't be stupid! Can you hear me, Yoshinari? I yelled toward the alley, but he didn't respond. I took out my phone and started dialing a number, but realized that the man who resembled Kurose was putting distance between us. Don't do it, you idiot! At this rate, we'll lose him. Stupid, stupid, stupid! He was going to... Oh my god, this is a trap for you. I mean, I understand where she is. Like, if I don't chase him, that would be bad. But if I chase him, that would be bad. It's bad either way, but like, Jesus fucking Christ, no. This might be a trap. He might be trying to lure me into following him. I'm just gonna fall into it anyway. Huh, this is a cage. I probably shouldn't go in there, but... I'll go in there. It's exactly what we're doing. But as long as Kurose is at large, there'll be even more victims. I pressed the call button and started running. Hoshino! I didn't find anyone. Now, there's definitely a lot of blood, but... I spotted someone who looks like Kurose. What? I'm in pursuit. It's okay. I'm keeping my distance. Can you catch up to me? No, 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 no! Stop right where you are! I'm coming to you now! I hung up and hit speed dial to headquarters. He turned! The man slipped through a group of people at a crosswalk. I followed him across the street. He didn't seem to be nervous or agitated. Then the man stopped and took a phone out of his pocket. He stood there looking around. Maybe he was consulting a navigation app. He's tracking you. I kept my distance so that I wouldn't be spotted and looked down at my phone. I need to call this in while he's in sight. It had only been a few seconds, but as soon as I took my eyes off the man and looked at my phone... Excellent. I finally caught up to you. There was a voice very close to me. I jumped and looked up. I told you it was fucking Tachibana! Didn't I fucking tell you? Fucking told you! It looked just- it was his hair in the picture. It looked just like it. Like, I am so excited when I'm right. If it wasn't, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'm a little disappointed, but like, I'm so fucking excited I'm right. Like, Good evening, kitty cat. I'm glad we finally got to meet. Question for you. Who am I? Shoot, Kurose? Very good. What a smart cat. I picked the perfect moment to come see you. Did you lure me here to try and draw out Shiraishi? And that's right. I know the two of you have a deep relationship, and I'll use any means I can get to I can to get to him. I'm a police officer. It won't be so easy. Oh, you think you can take me? I wouldn't recommend trying it. You don't have what it takes to bring me in. I won't know unless I try. Taser! I knew that I was hopelessly outmatched against an operative who had been trained since his youth. But maybe I can slow him down. Also, um, where the fuck is Yoshinari? Once Yoshinari arrived, it'd be two versus one. We had a fighting chance to take him down. Although Yoshinari has no idea which fucking way you went, so. Well, well. You actually look serious. Hmm. What to do? Before Mukai had used some sort of defensive tool to fight off Kurose. She'd given me one just in case, so it might be able to buy me some time. Perfect, Mukai. Ugh. Kurose chuckled as he saw me gauging the distance between us. <laughs> Seeing you try so hard for him makes me kind of jealous. But don't get the wrong idea. I won't kill number 14 right away. Huh? I'm going to make him taste true despair before I end his life. The icy look he gave me made me flinch reflexively. Don't run, kitty cat. I just want us to get along. Do we not recognize him? At all? 
Before I could activate the device in my pocket, Kurose closed in with blinding speed and seized my wrist. Ladies shouldn't carry such dangerous toys. Better yet, allow me to give you a better toy. Oh, hi, phrasing, pervert. L let go of me! I tried to resist, but his grip was like iron. Kurose slapped something around my wrist. What? I looked down to see a silver wristband on my wrist. The cold metal was a stark reminder of the collar I'd been made to wear before. It's a bomb this time, not a toxin. A bomb? As soon as Kurose's grip weakened, I pushed him away. It's just like the collar! If Kurose wasn't lying, then it would be dangerous to recklessly remove the device. This one is so much more exciting than any of the other freaking like, routes. But also at the same time, the other one is like, we get to spend time with our boyfriend and we're flirting with them and whatever. And this time we're running from a crew and it's really exciting. But what the fuck? We don't get to romance Shodaishi at all? Like, damn it! <sighs> anyway. Terrorists like us love to use these. It's also got a biometric lock with iris recognition. Iris recognition, a method of ocular-based biorecognition. It frequently gets lumped in with retinal scans, though they're different. Unlike retinal scans, iris recognition uses near-infrared light to map the structures of the iris and pattern recognition techniques to quickly and accurately identify people. Simply put, you can't take it off unless certain people are within visual range. And don't worry, I set it to work from quite a distance. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It wasn't poison, but I didn't know the yield of the explosive device. One wrong move could end up hurting many other people around me. And don't be so mad. It spoils your good looks. Shut up, you monster! Take this wristband off right now! I can't do that. But don't worry. I didn't make this puzzle so hard that you'll blow yourself up. You're safe as long as it's authenticated every hour. Kurose spoke nonchalantly, but there was nothing carefree about the situation at all. Kurose probably found some way to delay Yoshinari. He played right into his hands. Duh, stupid! What did I fucking say? Don't you dare, bitch. Let me just walk into the She fucking walked into the cage. I mean, they had to for plot purposes, but still. Stop being stupid! Why do we do these things to ourselves? The only way to increase the odds of capturing him is to get some distance and buy time. This is related to Shiraishi somehow, isn't it? Very perceptive. And that's right, the wristband will only deactivate with Shiraishi's eyeballs. I had all the data on Adonis operatives when I was active, so I made use of it. Unless he makes visual contact with the wristband within one hour, you go boom. Good luck. Are you trying to make him suffer? It's his punishment. Number 14 deserves a fate worse than death for what he's done. Kurose looked at me. Both his expression and speech pattern twisted. Okay, you're putting a wristband on me and punishing me because I have to look at my boyfriend? But no one's gonna believe me. Uh, I have to get this to Shiraishi within an hour or I'm going to explode. And they'll be like, bullshit. And then you explode and they're like, fuck, maybe we should have listened to her. And then you're dead and then Shiraishi feels like shit. That's what he's hoping for. Anyway. Number 14 betrayed his trust. He even killed him. That cannot be allowed to stand. He's defective. I'll deal with him no matter what. It was his last wish. He must be talking about... Before I could say the name, I imagined Kurose silently closed in on me. I tried to back away, but he caught me by the arm. We get a Kurose... Or... Tachibana, Kurose, whoever. We get a CG of him? <laughs> what the... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of hot in this CG. Like... He's a psychopath, but you're like, hi, he's kind of hot. <laughs> it's the crazy look in his eye. like the. D he's the one that's going to put you in a cage, be verbally abusive to you, but also like actually probably physically, and you're still going to like it. You're like, he's an evil, no redeeming qualities whatsoever, but like, I'll, I guess I'll climb in the cage. <laughs> he's pretty as all I'm saying, okay? I tried with all my might to push Kurose away, but he didn't budge. Don't misunderstand me. I'm grateful to you. The training we received as agents taught us not to value our own lives. We don't feel fear, whether we're stabbed, shot, or burned. Number 14 was like that too before he met you. But... Ow! His grip tightened on my arm. Kurose's fingers dug into my skin until I could hear them scraping my bones. 
after he met you, number 14, 14 learned to be afraid. He, his greatest fear is losing you. I wonder how he'd feel to know that this was happening to you because of him. I understand that you're trying to make Shudaishi suffer, but I don't regret meeting him, and I don't want him to regret meeting me either. Cut the act. I'm not bluffing. He may have begun as a tool crafted for a purpose, but Shudaishi has changed. That means Kurose could also. I seized on the idea as I looked at Kurose. Shudaishi tried to fulfill Zero's orders too at first, but he gradually began to think about the best course of action. Shudaishi has a strong sense of self, he isn't just a doll anymore. Is that supposed to sway me? I don't know if you comprehend my point of view, but he's not normal. He doesn't have any of the common sense that people need to function in this world. And he's a criminal. To the rest of society, that means he's as good as scum. I don't believe that. There are people who Shudaishi frustrates. But I need him and no one else. <laughs> that sounds completely insane. No, completely insane is the fact that if you were our love interest, I'd probably climb in the cage. I'd hate it, but I'd like it all the same. I'm just saying he's hot. This is a great CG. I don't mind looking at him. Like, he's a psychopath. Okay, part of me really doesn't want to date him, but I don't mind looking at him is all I'm saying. You say that, but you'll cast him aside one day. The vast majority of people dislike things that aren't normal to them. And there are people who don't mind that, too. No, that's why we love Shudaishi. He's not normal, and we adore him for it. You are just stupid. Hot, but stupid. <laughs> it's true that he does lack some common sense, and he acts in unexpected ways, but those are just quirks. It doesn't bother me. Shudaishi is a pure and kind soul. I won't allow anyone to hurt him. I said how I felt without hesitation. I could see that it shook Kurose somewhat. Now! In a flash, I body-checked Kurose and he let go of my arm. I used the opening to activate the defensive tool. Ugh! It seemed to have some effect. Kurose backed away. Really? It should be a taser. Backed away from me. His expression full of hatred. He's gonna get away. Quirks. Kindness. Who cares about any of that? It's always this way. Why is it always only him? There you are! Hoshino! Get him! Kurose, Kurose drew a knife as he saw Yoshinari dashing towards us. Yoshinari's got a gun, though. I tensed, but he stabbed himself in the arm with the knife. Gah! What? He appeared to be using the pain to snap himself out of the effects of the brainwave disruptor. I'm afraid I can't let myself be caught yet. Kurose deftly stepped out of my range, then drew something out of a pocket. Get back, Oshino! Yoshinari came in at blinding speed and delivered a flying kick. And I can't let you get away! Fucking Yoshinari. Nice. Damn! I really won the lottery today. Why'd you have to show up while I'm on duty? Because it was the right moment. That other SP guy is tough. You seem weaker. I won't deny that, but I trained under him, you know. I'll make you regret that insult. Just as I predicted. You're an idiot. My business here is done. Yoshinari looked like he was about to charge in again, but Kurose threw something on the ground. I turned away from the sudden flash of light. Damn it! Don't run! Hoshino, call this an HQ! I'm going after him! Okay. He put a bomb on me, and I'm gonna blow up in an hour. He had lured me in and put an explosive wristband on my wrist. Then he had fled after accomp accomplishing his objective. Kurose had probably meticulously planned for all of this, including separating me from Yoshinari. And whose fault is that, you dumb fuck? Look, this is an exciting route, but we are stupid. We walked right into that. A large-scale manhunt was started from the last point of contact, but no one reported seeing him. As soon as I made my report, the police examined the wristband. They verified that there was po a possibility an explosive... There was... A possibly, oh, there was possibly an explosive device, and that there was a one hour time limit on the biometric switch. Because it was worn by a live human, it'd be difficult to cool or freeze the device. Well, we don't need both our hands, I guess. Look, we're the idiot. Look, we're gonna lose our right fucking hand. Or did he put it on our left wrist? I think it was our left wrist. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're gonna have to be a one handed woman now because it's our own goddamn fault. Headquarters made their decision quickly. Should I, she will be here soon. 
But we get to see Shiraz. Okay, you know what? Like, could I say, you're a fucking dick. But you let me see my boyfriend. So I guess that's nice. How nice of you. A reunion had come sooner than expected, but it was nothing to be happy about. I mean, I'm a little happy about it. The situation wasn't good. It's not, but you did this to yourself. But at least we get to see Shiraishi again. For real. I made a mistake. Duh. I mean, for fuck's sake. She's an idiot. I touched the wristband, knowing that my regrets were justified. Then... Spacey! Should I? She ran into the room. There was a breathtaking pause as our eyes met. He's like, runs in like... I want to be mad at you. However, he soon looked away and quietly approached me. Are you okay? You're not hurt. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I have an explosive device on my wrist, so... I mean, physically, I'm fine, I guess. So this is the wristband. Did Kurose do anything else to you? Huh? What is our right wrist? He did? No, I'm not injured. It was just the wristband. You're stumbling over your words and your gaze is wavering. What did Kurose do? Like I said, I mean, he kissed my wrist. It was weird. I understand your concerns, but we need you to put that aside for the time being. Minigishi! I'm sorry to keep you waiting. We just got permission to let him out. The higher-ups weren't convinced unless we tightened security, so it took some time. No, this is all my fault. I mean, it is. That's not true. You're only in this situation because of me. I know that you both feel responsible for this. He's like, you both kind of fucking are. Why is everyone here stupid? <laughs> it's Minigishi. We know how he rolls. He's thinking that. However, we need to deal with the wristband first. We need to find out whether Kurose was telling the truth. Yeah, show me. Okay. I stretched out my arm so Shiraishi could examine it. When he did, I'm just saying. The Tachibana, Kurose, whatever. That better not count as one of Shiraishi's CGs. I'll be fucking mad. It better go in the other. Uh, A small camera in the wristband responded. There was a small mechanical noise, which was probably the biometric authentication. Field ops determined that the bomb wasn't a bluff. It can temporarily disarm itself, but we're still working on that. What are your thoughts? I often saw similar devices when I worked as an agent. Based on Kurose's patterns, the explosive is real, and so is the temporary disarm. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to hurt me with this. That's true. At least you've bought us some time. Hoshino... May I speak with you in the other room? Yes, sir. Every hour. I get to be with Shiraishi all the time. That sounds great. The device's construction was very unique, and it was deemed too great a risk to attempt to disarm it at this time. Technicians examined it further to make sure that it, we wouldn't accidentally set it off. We know that the bomb doesn't have much range. Glad that other people won't be hurt. Of course, it was enough to blow me to smithereens. As long as I wasn't close to anyone, however, it wouldn't cause other casualties. What are you talking about? This is nothing to be glad about. Should I she... We're coming. We're combing through the intel recovered from the Adonis base, but it seems inadvisable to tamper with it at this juncture. I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. Oh god, it hurts. Oh, hold on. Oh god, it's terrifying. It's like under my fucking contact. Oh god. Oh, all right. Sorry. Oh, that hurt. It won't be that easy. Kurose's trying to drag this out as long as possible. He'll slowly back me into a corner, then exit in a corner, then execute me with his own hands. And the reason he's gone quiet the past week is because he was preparing to act. Yes, however, there should be plans or blueprints for the device he's using. It was most likely manufactured in Japan, so Sasazuka and the rest of Cybercrimes are looking into it for us. Sasazuka. Of course, this might not be based on a publicly available design. It may have been developed by an underground source. But this will be a tough task. Still, the fact that he was able to accomplish all this a mere week after breaking out of prison proves that he's far more capable than we anticipated. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if he committed another X-Day attack. He could use wristbands on other people besides me. True. Hoshino, for now, we should prioritize keeping you isolated. We don't want you to influence the situation any further. <laughs> That's basically like, we need to keep you isolated because you're a fucking liability, jackass. I understand, sir. 
However, if we can guarantee your safety, then we may need to ask you to expose yourself again. We'll use that wristband and force Kurose to act. If the threat to you draws him out, then that would be ideal. I hope that you'll both cooperate with us so that this goes smoothly. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Also, you do know that I, every hour I need to see Shiraishi for this wristband. And if you could just give us a few hours alone, just to deactivate, deactivate the wristband, air quotes around all of that. Minagishi's like, oh, for fuck's sake. I faced Minagishi and bowed. Commissioner, I'm sorry that my actions disrupted your investigation. Even a veteran officer would have been hard-pressed not to make the same mistake you did. I kind of call bullshit on that, but they would have been like, it's definitely a This could be a trap. It's definitely a trap, you dumbass. He wants to kill you to hurt Shiraishi. You had to know. We won't let this crisis go to waste. When the enemy believes that he has the upper hand, and that's the best time to lay a trap. I mean, Minigishi's way too understanding. It's because he's got the hots for us. He's way too understanding about our dumb fuckery. Because another, a veteran would have chased him down. Absolutely. But Morioka chasing that motherfucker would not have gotten a wristband that was going to blow him up because Kurose doesn't want to kill him. Kurose actually physically threatened me. He threat Okay, not physically. But you know, he wrote a letter. He threatened me. He went after Muka. We knew damn well. We were like, mm, I should probably let him go because he wants me to chase him. He absolutely wanted you to chase him. And you and Yoshinari could have, like, gone and ran it. And it might have ended up the same way. But at least, like, you know what I'm saying? Yoshinari should have just fucking... Shot him. Is this why they should have... Oh my god. This is why they should all have guns! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> At least Yoshinari. You know what I mean? Although, I mean, he kicked him in the face. So, like... I mean... Him and his flying kicks are probably tougher, so... Anyway. Wait, did I read that? Hmm. We won't let this crime go to waste when the enemy believes that he's the upper hand is the best time to lay a trap. Okay. I'm sorry. I put you in harm's way again. Shiraishi looked pained. He was hurt. Hurt. Or he was hurt far worse than I was. In other words, this was going exactly as Kurose had intended. I'll be okay, so please don't look at me like that. How can I possibly smile in this situation? Because we get to see each other again, at least. I understand, but doesn't it frustrate you? Frustrate me? Kurose might be laughing right now because of the suffering he knows he's inflicted on you. I can't stand that thought. It makes me angry. I don't want to play his game. Also, I get to see you every hour now because otherwise TikTok I'm gonna blow up. So, I mean, look on the bright side. I'm going to make him regret trying to bend me to his will with his, with his wristband. All right, we did a dumb thing, but I like her gumption. Um... Did I say something wrong? No. And just seeing you get all fired up is... <laughs> Indeed. You remind me of what, of it's like, what it's like to be a young, passionate officer. He's not that old. Minigishi's like 30 fucking three. He's like, God, I'm old. You're in your 30s. You're not old yet. Trust me. It's like early 30s. He's like, I'm 31. I'm old. I mean, it feels that way. Yeah. I suddenly felt ashamed that I'd failed to control my emotions. A anyway... Kurose's primary goal is to make Shiraishi suffer, so we might be able to manipulate him with that in mind. Correct. He's more obsessed with Shiraishi than we thought. I mean, I don't blame him. Do you blame him? But regardless of whether Makuni ordered it, he must have nursed this obsession since he was in prison. No, even before that. I believe I mentioned it in my report. Do we recognize him? I'll deal with him, no matter what. It was his last wish. I believe that Kurose is motivated by his loyalty to Makuni. It could also be Zero, because Zero would know that we were in love with Shiraishi. But, um, Kurose was actually working for Makuni, because we saw that in the thing. So that would, that makes more sense. But you never know. If Makuni ordered him to terminate me, and then he must see me as Shiraishi trailed off. Shiraishi? Continue your analysis of Kurose. We need to come up with a plan of action. Since you need to authenticate the wristband regularly, you two will need to be in close contact. That's true. Um, what should I be doing? You two will need to be in close contact. Gosh darn, that's gonna be different. <sighs> if you say so, Minigishi. Yes! Fuck you! What, nothing? <laughs> I will suffer and deal. 
What should I be doing? Aside from Shiraishi. But like, he's like, what? Nothing? <laughs> Fortunately, Shiraishi's room is furnished enough for someone to live there. And I can guarantee that it's a secure location. Wait, but you want us to live in the same house, girl? Sh shut the fuck up. You get to be with your boyfriend. I need this. Shut up and don't protest. I mean, we got a wristband that's going to blow up if we're not within like a foot of our boyfriend. So it's fine. Sh her protest. They're going to be like, listen, bitch, you're going to live with him and you're going to have sex with him if we fucking tell you to. Okay, Minagishi, whatever you say. I mean, that's a little weird. And there's also cameras, so that's not going to happen. But, you know, whatever. Hourly check-ins are quite frequent. It'd be the most obvious choice. That's true. Feel free to use any of the facilities there as you see fit. If you need to buy anything, tell one of our officers. So we get to go live in prison! Yay! It's like a conjugal visit, only, like, permanent. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're like, Minagishi, wait a minute. So, I mean, this is because of the wristband, not because you're throwing me in a pseudo jail because I ran after Kurose. It's a little bit of both, Hoshino. It's a little fucking bit of both. Okay. After the situation was explained to me, I left the Shinjuku police station. Woo, we get to be with Shiraishi now. <laughs> Yay! When I entered Shiraishi's place, I heard it lock from the outside. He really lives here? I was carrying some changes of uh, clothing that I'd been given. I fidgeted uneasily. I finally got to see him after so long, but now we have to live together. That doesn't seem like a bad thing. It makes sense because of the wristband, but I feel so nervous. Also, there's cameras. I wondered what Shiraishi thought about it. He hadn't spoken much on the way here. Well, thanks for letting me stay with you. Yeah. He immediately looked away from me and didn't say anything else. This has got to be awkward, though. He's like, I've wanted to see you for so long. I this is weird now. It's been like a year. Well, not really. We were... Okay, here's the thing. It's weird. She thinks it's weird to be living with him. You were alone with him in a bunker for like a fucking year while you get got your memory back. So this should be like old hat. The awkwardness should be... Well, now I got my memory back. There's a little bit of awkwardness. I haven't seen you. I've wanted to see you so much. Now it's weird because what do we say to each other and there's cameras, so I can't do what I want to do, you know? I mean, you can, but everyone's going to watch you, so, like, maybe you shouldn't. I looked around, not sure what to do. Should I? She sat down in a chair and started poring over the documents on a desk. Um, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Okay. I know that you aren't here because you want to be. That's true, but... All of the emotions I'd been saving up for months threatened to spill out, but I fought them down. The black cat is reckless, but she's very happy. Shiraishi's shoulders twitched in surprise. Why are you saying that? I've decided to just say what I want when I have something to say to you. I never want to be in a situation where I couldn't say what I needed to. I don't want that either. I wouldn't know what kind of expression to make. Sorry to drag you into this mess. But I always... Should I she never continued on from that? But I knew what he meant. You can't tell me not to worry, because that would be meaningless. Then... Previously, you risked your own life in order to remove the collar from me. And right now, you're treating your life as something of a secondary importance. I'll return you to where you are. Oh, I will return to where you... Oh, I will return to where you are. I know that I should keep that promise. But if you perish, then it would all be for naught. If my life can be, can be used to save you, I... No, Shiraishi. I walked closer to Shiraishi and took his hand. We were together when we faced Zero. That's the only reason we got through it. I understand that you're worried about me, but if something happens to you, I'll be just as... Just as... You'd be? I'll be just as sad as you'd be? I'm assuming is what it should say. Tell you what the typos, you're ruining moments. I'm not someone you should think that way about. Even if you think that way about yourself, I certainly don't. That's where you're wrong. I wanted to show him just how much I cared. I held his hand, hoping it would convey my emotions. Maybe you should just kiss him. You get angry and sad for me at times. You're strange, you know that. It goes for us both. Shiraishi was finally acting like himself again. He smiled. For some reason, he stared straight at me. What did Kurose do to you? Huh? Minagishi infer interfered earlier, but your wrist was red. 
something must have happened. That's... I don't want to think about it. And if you were told to keep quiet... No, the kiss... Kiss? I see. Zokurose just wants to annoy me. It's not that. I understood why you felt that way. At the very... Oh, I understand why you felt that way. At the very least, I don't feel like dying anymore. Sh Shiraishi looks kind of scary. He's like, I will fucking kill him. He grabbed my wrist and planted a kiss on it. He's like, I'll fucking end him. He kissed my wrist, Shiraishi. I'll kill him. Oh, I love it. He stands up while waving back at, while wavering back and forth as he looks down on me. Even I haven't done that on the mouth with you even once yet. I don't want to be the same as him. No, Kurose didn't... I don't even want to hear his name right now. I've been holding back so much and he cuts in line and gets the jump on me. We need to get you disinfected first. I'll prepare some ethanol. Shiraishi immediately heads to the door. He did it! Not on the lips! But please wait! Kurose kissed this armband! Huh? He grabbed me on the wrist, so it's red. He, um, didn't do anything of the sort to me. He walks back as fast, at a, as, walks back at, as fast pace. Wow. He walks back at a fast pace and puts his hands on my shoulders. So then I'm the only one who's done that stuff with you. He, yes? Oh, I panicked over nothing. Don't scare me like that. Have we never actually kissed Sadaishi? Like, I mean, I know there was a point where we were in doctor-patient relationship before we remembered our thing and nothing happened because he was a good boy. But, like, you know. Sorry. Should I? She suddenly looked so happy as if what just happened was simply a dream. Should I? She was in bad spirits because... No, now's not the time to be thinking about that. I shook my head and talked about what I noticed about Kurose. He was in bad spirits because he thought I loved someone. Oh, we thought we, we broke his heart. Shiraishi, you told me about how you weren't allowed to have individuality at the training facility, right? But Kurose seemed very human, like he definitely had his own emotions. I reported this to HQ, but it was something we couldn't ignore as Kurose's motive. Previously, you talked about when you were younger. I think it was some stories from when you were at the training facility. If you don't mind, could you tell me more about that time? There's nothing to tell about it. We just repeated the same things over and over. I was just another cog in the machine. The only slight deviations that occurred were when Makuni came to talk to me. What did you talk about? In retrospect, it was just idle chatter. We talked about candy. Candy? That's unexpected. I knew about it from the data I read, but the data didn't show or explain everything in existence. He talked about many things that couldn't be found on the data sheets. I say data, but for some reason in Shiraishi's voice, I can't say, in the data sheets. It doesn't come out right. It's in the data sheets. I feel like it's really very bizarre because I noticed that when I was reading his voice and I said data at one point, and I was like, I don't say data. I don't. It irks me. <laughs> like, it's data. Like, that's how I say it. Like, from Star Trek, data, right? So it's really weird, but I've noticed that when I read in Shiraishi's voice, it's like, it's... I guess it's just his voice says data, not data. And it's weird. Like, I've never... I mean, obviously, because you're reading in a voice, so it's got... But it's just funny that when you're putting on a voice, you say things differently than you normally would if you're being yourself. Like, I... I mean, obviously, if I'm putting on an accent or something, I'm going to pronounce things differently. But I'm just doing a voice. I should say things the way I normally do. But... Nope. It comes out data. Weird. It's fucking weird. Anyway. Normally, given his position, Makuni would never speak to someone like me. Yet I was given permission to ask questions, and he answered all of them. Shiraishi's expression was gentle when he recalled that part of his past. I'm certain it was a memory he cherished. So Makuni was something like a childhood friend to you then, Shiraishi. It's nothing that deep. He was my boss, and I was the underling. Our positions in Adonis were worlds apart. And at that time, I really didn't know what he thought of me. Back then, when I finally killed him, his actions on the day he brought up assassinating Zero were strange. I'm sure he would have understood my true intentions. He could have easily removed me. But Makuni purposely sent people away and met with me. Do you think that's possible? 
and normally they'd be more cautious. His ideals clashed with Zero, so maybe he had a death wish. But I knew very little about Makuni. He was a founding figure of Adonis. He was a founding figure! He was like eight. <laughs> so weird. He was closest to Zero, who the religious organization worshipped. Again, also just a baby at the time, so it's really bizarre. The one who truly put together the X-Day plan and put their agents in place was actually Ray Makuni. A terrorist that took many lives. That was a fact. But from what I heard from Shiraishi, the image I had of him as a high-ranking executive of a terrorist organization was very different. The executives of Adonis only saw you as a chess piece, as chess pieces, you said. I saw it firsthand when I took on Zero. But was Makuni the same? This is just my guess. But if he really thought you were expendable, he wouldn't have come talk to you so many times. And certainly he wouldn't show himself in front of someone he didn't trust. At the very least, I think Makuni saw you as another human being. Shiraishi's eyes opened wide and he looked down at his hand. Another human being. Makuni did say that once in the past. He said it was just a joke, but I never forgot that. I think that's because he felt happy. Happy? Considering the environment you grew up in, having someone that views you that way is very special. Perhaps. But I honestly thought he said it on a whim. Even if it wasn't, it's all in the past now. People do have changes of heart. I think about this more recently. What did Makuni think when he was on the verge of death? Anger or sadness from his betrayal? Or from betrayal, sorry. His thoughts must have been a mass of negative emotions. Otherwise, should I she... Should I she tried to bleed into the outside world? Well, blend into the... Uh, wow, I can't read. Should I she tried to blend into the outside world because he was ordered to as a spy. He knew more about emotions than other agents. But before he was given that order, he was treated as another human by Makuni and not just as a chess piece or doll. It may be a small distinction, but it led him to, uh, led him to a chance at becoming human. Oh, it's getting late. I'm sure you're tired, so go ahead and take a bath. No, there's still some data that I haven't read through yet, and I said data is her, too. I don't know why. I don't say the word data. Oh my god, am I changing myself? Oh my god, am I actually saying the data suggest? Oh my god, maybe I do at work. Maybe I've just been around so many people that have said the word data that I say data now. Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. Holy shit. Did you ever have one of those weird epiphanies where all of a sudden you're like, that's never how I used to act or be? Oh my god. I mean, honestly, it would... I always said data. It was data, data, data. It was never data. I never said anything. I never used to say that. And like, it occurred to me when I was reading this and it happened once before and then even now I'm like, wow. But then I just read data this way and I'm like, oh my god, that's not normally how I would say that. So bizarre. I don't know if it's because I'm reading. Like if I was reading a book, still some data I haven't read through yet. If I was just reading it myself or like me, I'm putting up like, no, there's still some data I haven't read through yet. That me talking is different than me reading her voice, even though it's still me and I'm not putting on a voice. It's just, there's a slightly different inflection, but like, why do I, or just reading out loud, or I've heard people, or I've been at work too long that I've heard people and they all say data and it's just, permanently got stuck in my brain. You know, like if you're around people and they say that perfect example, when I moved to New Hampshire in high school, everybody said wicked. Oh my God, that's wicked. Funny. That's so wicked. Dumb. That's wicked. Everything was wicked. And I was like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my God. And what do you know? The next thing you know, you no matter how hard you try, all of a sudden you live there long enough and you're like, oh my God, that's wicked funny. Oh God, what happened to me? And then I lived in Massachusetts. You know, I was going to pack the cat. I'm going to go pack the cat. You got your khakis? Your what now? Your khakis? No, your khakis. Not your pants. Your car keys. But nobody knows how to say the word, the R. The letter R. Nothing that ends in R. It's ah. Eh. You don't say R. And I didn't realize it, but someone pointed out to me once that I actually, when I was moving further south, I said something about a garage for my car. And I'm like, oh my God, I actually said, <laughs> like, I moved just in time before I started dropping 
Because you don't think you're like that. But when you're around people and that's all you hear, like, oh, you're not going to like move to Ireland and have a fucking Irish accent. But if you lived there long enough, you'd start saying things with a weird accent because you're just there long enough. You know, or you pick up turns of like wicked. You pick that up. And like, I don't say it anymore because like I might throw it in once in a while, but I don't say it all the time anymore because I'm not around people that say it. It's not something that stays in your lingo, you know? So I'm just like really like, (laughs) God, it's so baffling though that like I would fight you if you were like, is it data or data? It's fucking data. But like now, but I say it (laughs) so fucked up. It's like GIF and JIF, you know? JIF is a peanut butter, okay? But like, but it's like that. But it'd be like if you were like, no, it's it's JIF. I always say JIF, 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 JIF. And then one day you say GIF and you're like, what the fuck happened? Because you're around a bunch of people that say GIF and it just, oh my God. Like, I'm just having a crisis right now because I don't know why I keep saying data, but apparently that's how I say it now. I don't fucking know. I don't know who I am anymore. And I might need therapy to figure this out. Anyway. <sighs> no, there's still some data. <laughs> it's hard to say it now. I my brain wants oh my god. Anyway, that I haven't read through yet. Fuck my life. I don't know who I am anymore. I wanna dig in I wanna dig in some more, so you can go first. Oh, really? I don't mind if I do. Yes. I read through the data see, god I can't. It's just that's how I say it now, I guess. Shit, my god. I can't. Can we stop putting this word in here? I read through the information of Shiraishi's analysis of Kurose. Then I heard the bathroom door open. Oh, it should I, is Shiraishi done? Did he come out naked? I looked up and saw Shiraishi with his hair dripping wet as he walked out. Shiraishi, you're not going to dry your hair. I need to see his sprite with drippy wet hair. Huh? It'll just dry on its own. I always just wipe it a little and then leave it. Always? I can't just leave it that way. I picked up a towel and stood up. Oh my god. Please hold still for a moment. CG. Huh? CG. CG. Oh! How adorable. I put the towel on Shiraishi's head and started drying his wet hair. When your hair's this long, you have to dry it properly. It's a pain in the butt. What if you catch a cold? It'll be an even bigger pain in the butt. That's why you put it up in like a turby towel and you just leave it like that for a little while and then you take it down and then you're fine. I never catch colds. You will. You're not a machine. I don't know my parents, but if Yanagi is my dad, then you're like my naggy mom. Gah. Maybe it's because you have a little brother. You always try to take care of me. It's because I love you. Don't call me your mom. It's fucking weird. D- do I? Yeah, you do. Do you do this to everyone? Of course not. I only do this for you. You're the only one. Should I she had a blank stare on his face for a second. Then he made a gentle smile. It makes me happy to spend time with you like this. It's like a dream. We were being watched from outside the room, so any talk of more personal things would be stopped. But right now, because I can't see his face, this was like an ambush. I was trying not to focus on being alone in the same room. It didn't feel right to move away so quickly after helping him dry his hair. The funny thing is you're being watched, but that's like talk of more personal things. You could talk all you want, but it's when you start making out that they'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa." actually, I don't think the the guards would be like, shh, don't tell them. There's cameras, but if they forgot, we get a show. I'm just saying. You know one of those guards is at least a fucking pervert. I kept moving my hands while trying to stay calm. It's going to be hard. We're not going to get to kiss him, are we? It may be difficult now, but someday... If you've cleaned up the mistakes of your past, we'll be able to share more time like this. Isn't it painful to have to wait? His voice sounded worried, so I looked back at Shiraishi. It's not. I do feel lonely. It's not painful at all, but there are times I feel lonely. When I gather my courage to say that, Shiraishi looked down. Sorry. I can't give you the kind of happiness that you'd get from a normal lover. That's not true. You've given me so much happiness. You think about what I would like, and you give me anim- and you gave me animal cookies. Animal cookies are fucking great, though. It felt so helpless, and it hurt. 
I felt so helpless. I think it's supposed to be not it. I felt so helpless, and it hurt. But you accepted my feelings when they had nowhere to go. You're not good at cooking, but you did your best to try and cook me fried eggs. That made me so happy. And we went on a date, too. Looking back, I had so many fond memories with Shiraishi. I was about to mention more, but then I noticed he had turned away. He looked so embarrassed. He's blushing and so cute. All those things were nothing. But he looked so happy about them. Hey, is that... The way he looked so restless. The way his voice was cracking a bit. Are you feeling bashful right now? No, I'm not. He was kind of cute when he was being stubborn. Why are you, what are you grinning at? I'll pinch your cheeks. Sorry, I couldn't help it. I tried to reverse my grin. I feel happy just being able to have this exchange with you. You have no desire whatsoever. You still use that cheap strap. Oh, of the white cat? It's my favorite. The strap and everything you've given me is very important to me. It can't be anyone else. It has to be you, Shiraishi. It's so adorable. It's more adorable that we're saying that. To, it's like, it's so cute, but we're the one giving him all the love and the affection. He's like, this is weird, <laughs> but I like it. Tell me more. <laughs> like, usually it's them being like embarrassing us with the, I love you and you're wonderful and blah, blah. And we're like, oh, it's so embarrassing, but we're doing it to him. And I kind of love it. Well, I felt much better after unloading everything in my heart. Should I, she groaned a little and turned away. I know what you want to say. I just go ahead and take a bath for now. Oh, okay. We have to stop in Shiraishi's perspective, but you know he's going to like... be <sighs> like, oh my god, she's killing me. <laughs> I can't wait. But we're going to have to read it uh, in the next part. Not tomorrow, but the day after. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.